Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'd like to introduce you to uh, grouping control flows into subcomponents. So if you have large control flows and you just want uh, to merge them into one component without a textual programming, then uh, this is the right tutorial for you. In simple words, we're going to transform the control flow on the left into the component on the right. To demonstrate that, um, we're going to use the function plotter uh, example that we also feature on the VRL Studio web page. So just grab it from there and open it in VRL Studio. Then you should see something similar to this. Um, just a brief recap. So what we do is basically we just uh, evaluate a user-specified function. So we specify the function here, then it's going to be evaluated there, and we're, yeah, visualize it in the triangle uh, viewer. Okay, so we just try it once. Seems to work nicely. Um, yeah, and for this example, we're just going to remove the second function, because we only uh, can show one return value. So it doesn't make sense to have um, a second one. So we just rearrange everything a little like that. Okay, that should do it. So I'm just going to save that. Um, before we can actually create a, a subcomponent, we have to translate this data flow into a control flow. But that's pretty easy to accomplish. We just move that stop uh, component window over there and then we select everything and we go to an arbitrary window, right click on the title bar and uh, choose reconnect control flow of selected objects. If we go here, all the connections will be added for us. So now the next step is to actually choose which inputs our new component should have. So therefore, uh, we are opening the Manage Components window, and then we are searching for control. And here you see uh, that we not only have start and stop, but also input and output. So let's drag two input components over there and one output over there. So now we're going to use the first input for the function. Let's just grab it here so that we, that we can reuse it later. And the second input should be the color. And then the output, of course, is the visualization. So now we can just save everything. And the interesting part is now uh, when we move that to a new component. And therefore, we can just copy the main component that you see here, we just right click on it and say copy. And we call that something like uh, my component and hit create. It asks whether we want to save that. Yeah, probably yes. And now everything looks like before except one thing. The title bar shows us that we are inside the component, my component. So before we do anything, we just right click and go back to the previous session. And also here, we just hit save. Okay, now we're back to main. And the cool thing is we can just delete everything except for start and stop, of course like so, and now we can look for our new component, my component, and as you can see, uh, it also has the same icon as the main component because it has been visually defined. So if we compare that to other components, we see that main and my component have this uh, visual icon and uh, the other components are textually defined and show this text editor icon. 
that's an easy way how to distinguish them. So now let's just drag the My Component uh, over there, and we add the Run method. And this is what we get. So now we can enter our function. We can select the color. So we want to use some nice red, and we can invoke it. And that's it. So that's how you can easily reduce large control flows into subcomponents. And the very cool thing here is that this is actual, actually a class called My Component. So if you want to export a VRL project for something else, like you want to create your own plugins or use it uh, in any other IDE, just reuse that component uh, from the JAR file, you can do so. So we always try to be as compatible with existing workflows as possible. Um, so uh, when you edit this component, you have two ways to do that. Essentially, it's just like uh, with textual components, either you go to this, uh, click on the C icon, or you go to the Manage uh, Components window and right-click on your component and say Open, or you double-click on it. So that's basically uh, how you do that. So we just go here. It asks whether we want to uh, save the current session before we switch it to the to the next one. And if we do, we have this control flow again. And there we can change all the values that we haven't chosen as inputs. And yeah, let's just go back. And as you might have noticed, um, the inputs and outputs are, they just reuse any kind of parameter informations and type representations that you have chosen in the actual control flow. So when you could, could look at the source code for my component, you would just see that there is the correct param info and everything that you have used inside your control flow. I hope you liked that tutorial and uh, stay tuned.